Oh, hey! Funny seeing you here. I'm Jordan Gates, I'm a freshman setter, and I would love to show you around where we live. These are the Northeast Quads. We live right here in Harding Hall, so follow me and I'm gonna show you around our dorm. So this is our entrance. Um, we have a fob that gets us into the main doors that will also get us into the Jones, the Barn Hill, and pretty much everywhere, but so you do that. Welcome to our crib. Uh, we have four people to a quad and you live with your teammates, your class members, and two people live on one side, two people live on the other side, and the living room is really nice, very spacious. You get all the furniture that is seen, minus the bean bag. That's the star piece. But let's follow along to our rooms. Hey, it's Jordan again. Uh, this is my room. Uh, pretty simple, just you know, a picture wall. Um, our beds are twin XLs, which is a great size uh, for one person. Um, I have some lights set up for nighttime. I also have LED lights that aren't on right now and you probably wouldn't be able to see it too well, but uh, yes. That's my Alexa. <laughs> she doesn't really set up too well in here, but uh, she does play music, so yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Clara Parker. I'm a freshman outside from Jonesboro, Arkansas, and this is my dorm room. So we have um, my favorite part, my little coffee machine right here. And then we have my desk with pictures of my family and friends, and then I have my Bible and stuff like that. Hi, my name is Haley Schneider, and I'm a freshman DS from Dallas, Texas, and this is my room. Obviously, I share a side with Clara. She's just right that way, but here I have my bed with all of my little Bible verses and stuff that reminds me back of back home from Texas. And then my favorite part, same as Clara's, obviously my coffee machine. I have all my school stuff here, laptops, we get iPads, little pencil holders, and then I also have a nice photo wall with all my friends from back home. So I chose Arkansas um, because of the campus. Obviously it's beautiful. Coaches definitely helps uh, make my decision, you know, more clear. They're awesome here, and the teammates, was, they were so inviting and so welcoming, and I, I'm from Michigan, so being 12 hours away from home, it's I had to pick somewhere that made me feel home, and I really don't get homesick here, so I think that's a really big um, factor that played into why I chose it here. We've only known each other for like a couple months now, and we're already so close, and we're all very family-oriented, and. We spend a lot of time with each other, so that's another big factor. Bye guys, thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see you on campus soon. Hey guys, my name's Lauren. I'm a junior libero. Never mind. Okay, anyway. Hey guys, my name's Lauren. I'm a junior libero from Dallas, Texas, and I'm gonna show you around Barnhill, so I hope you enjoy. And here is Barnhill in all of its glory. This is where we play all of our matches when we're at home. Playing in the SEC is awesome. Um, we have just so many like fan bases that will come and help us um, have a great game. It's really cool to also compete and um, be able to play a lot of cool different teams and be at such a high level. Um, every single game is a high level game, so that's one of the best things about competing in the SEC. I'm Elise Crumpton. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm a middle blocker for the Arkansas volleyball team. Um, this is our locker room. For most teams, this might be where they congregate, get pep for before a game, but this locker room has sections. So we have our living room with our big TV. Yeah, because Jason makes sure we sit nice in here. So this is we all pick a movie to watch before a game to kind of get us pumped up. Um, some of us take a nap. This is our nap room. And this is where I spend most of my time. As you can see, it's nothing but pillows in here, so it's very comfortable. This is where I go between classes. If a class gets canceled, after games, before practice, after practice. We even have our own station. We got protein water, protein milk, juice. Sometimes we have smoothies in there. We have our microwave. We usually have snacks up here. We have a station to wash your hands. And this light right here. 
So it's something kind of special about it. It lights up white, but on game day, let's see, it lights up red. So on game days, we keep it red. It's kind of a different vibe in here to get everybody ready for the game. This section is our locker room. We have mirrors everywhere because we girls, we like to look at ourselves. My locker is right here, right in the corner, real nice. We all have our names on the locker, so you know where you at. Uh, showers are back there, restrooms are back here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We living kind of nice. Hey guys, I'm Gracie Ryan. I'm a junior setter here at the University of Arkansas and I'm gonna show you our athletic training room. So follow me. In this room, we got our ice bath and our hot bath. And Trish does a really good job of communicating with us when we can use it and when we can't. But most of the time, it's always accessible, always free for us to use before or after practice. And here we can set a time if we, um, you know, we got 10, 15, 20 minutes, just any time you need. Here we got the famous Trish's office. She's our athletic trainer. Um, no, always perfect office. <laughs> um, she's on call whenever you need her. Um, she just always emphasizes the importance of communication and so we talk to her a lot about anything that's bugging us, um, any injuries, and she's, she's always got our back. So she runs this whole ordeal and we're, uh, we're lucky to have her. Hey, I'm Trish Matisak. I'm the Associate Director of Sports Medicine here at the University of Arkansas. Um, but my primary responsibility is taking care of these great volleyball athletes and I get to do that every day, which I'm really happy to do. Um, we have everything available to these uh, student athletes, um, any type of treatment. I am certified in dry needling, um, myofascial re release, we have Graston, we have cupping. I mean, we really do it all here. Um, great recovery stuff. I know Grace probably already showed you the pools and Norma Tech recovery boots. I mean, we have it all here. So. We're here to serve the athletes. Um, that's why I got into this profession, to work with athletes every day and love doing it and love taking care of people like you, Gracie. With Aragon, it just sends electromagnetic. Wait, is that right? No. It's not. It sends waves of electromagnetic energy through the skin. Oh, no, not, not at not, all. Not that either. But it <laughs> it's sends, a massage tool. It's a massage tool. There that's you go. And um, you just, boom. Um, just anywhere you need it. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Jill Gillen. I'm an outside hitter. I'm in the class of 2023. And right now we're in our weight room, Bev Lewis. This is a female only weight room. And our coach is Coach Whitney Smith. She's amazing. So my name is Whitney Smith and I am the strength and conditioning coach that works with the volleyball team. I work with them year round to help increase their power output, to keep them safe, to make sure that they stay injury free the whole year round. Uh, this is our gorgeous weight room uh, that I am in charge of. We have all kinds of tools at our disposal. We have all kinds of recovery tools, tools to make us stronger, tools to make us more powerful. I like to utilize a mix, a uh, big variety to just make sure that we keep the boredom. It's not so monotonous with all the training. I try to make it fun and lively and with a lot of energy to make sure that you guys want to come back in the weight room every single time and that we're gonna push weight and we're gonna get better every step of the way. So this is our Jerry Jones Center. It is one of the biggest highlights on campus, especially for student athletes. Um, half of the facility is our nutritional center and half of it is our um, student academic center. And there is just so many resources in here for student athletes to uh, succeed. I mean, we, we all spend so much time in here and um, it's just amazing opportunity, amazing facility. And I'm excited to show you around, so follow me. So this is our nutrition center in the Jones Center. Uh, this is where we eat uh, breakfast and lunch and then freshmen eat dinners here or um, some of our upperclassmen eat dinners here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to show you around. All of our food is going to be along these walls and then we um, are able to sit and talk with our teammates and um, some of our friends and this is just all of our one-stop shop um, to get food. So this is our to-go window. This has been a huge help to student athletes during COVID. Um, everyone working here has been, a, um, been doing a great job on getting us the food and the nutrition we need. We make an appointment on our to-go app and we just come up here, we pick up our food and we go. Super easy, super efficient. 
My name is Carla Horsfall. I'm the Director of Sports Nutrition here at the University of Arkansas. Um, in addition to my uh, administrative and more general programming responsibilities, I also work day to day with our volleyball team. Um, so in addition to you know overseeing our Sports Nutrition Center, which some of our athletes have already explained, I do do a lot of nutrition education and one-on-one -on -one counseling with our student athletes. This is where we put our heads in the book. So this is the academic side of the gym center. Y'all saw the cafeteria side, the academic side. So up here, we have tutoring rooms. Um, I spend most of my time up here studying. Um, and the tutoring rooms just ensure that if you want privacy, you can focus, you can do that in there. Um, Where's Lisa going? I think she's upstairs looking at the last house. Huh. Hi. What's up? Hi, how are you guys? I'm good. Thank you. Hi, Tamisha. What's up? This is our academic Hi. advisor, the famous Miss Tamisha, the uh -huh. one with the plan right here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. Um, I guess I could take my mask off. Yes, I'm Tanisha Muse, the director of academics. I work with um, women's volleyball and women's basketball, and assist those students in navigating um, to get to their degree. Ultimately, um, I've been at the institution for 14 years. Oh. Um, so this is truly my passion and where I find um, I've been called to, is to assist college students to navigate this process. I was a first generation college student so it's very important to me um, that they get the mentors and the help that they need and the resources and so we have tons of resources in this building to get them through that process. Oh okay so me personally when I first got here um, academically, it was not happening for me. Like, not that I couldn't do it, and I just didn't know how, I didn't understand how to do it. She was very nice, and she just kind of kept talking to me, and then I was like, you know what? I trust her. I trust that she's gonna get me through it. And once I did, now we all on the road! We're doing great things! Yeah, she's awesome. We all love her, she's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, so this is Old Main. This is the oldest building on campus, um, and it's also one of my favorites. So Old Main, um, kind of the story behind it, there are two towers, and actually one of them is taller. Um, but if you come into Fayetteville, you're going to be able to see Old Main um, at the top of the hill, which is a really great, um, it's a really great focal point for the University of Arkansas. Again, just the walk between uh, classes is really pretty. It's just a really cool area to sit between classes and um, just so many parts of this campus have so many unique characteristics. Every building is unique to itself and a lot of student athletes love it here. We just love to hang out around here during the school season. This is the Chi Omega Greek Theater. So my freshman year, I know we met the band here. People come here to hang out. People come here to study. Um, this is also where at the beginning of the year we all do the one hall call. So everybody comes up here and we all do the hall call here. As you can see, it's big enough. Well, not for everybody who comes here, but for most people. So, yeah. Chi Omega Greek Theater in the flesh. Check it out. So besides just being a student athlete on campus, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Um, so for me personally, I'm um, on our student athlete advisory committee. I'm our vice president for all student athletes. So I'm basically like a liaison to the athletic department and our student athletes, um, which is a really great opportunity. And also I'm on the SEC student council. So that's just another different thing that you get to do when um, you have kind of the ties that we have here at Arkansas and there's a lot of different opportunities that um, I've been given because of that so it's a really cool thing about being a student athlete. I know for me and Lauren something that was really big for us coming to University of Arkansas was just getting involved with any Christian fellowship and for us we've been um, highly involved with FCA which is Fellowship of Christian Athletes and it's led here at um, University of Arkansas by Alex and Cortez McCraney, and they just do a great job of um, keeping us intertwi intertwined with the gospel and you know those activities with other Christian athletes. Um, we love it because it just keeps us super centered and um, you know gives up gives us an opportunity to kind of step away from athletics and 
and dive into some other important aspects of our lives and we just love it. It's a great opportunity. So there's all types of organizations and activities you can get involved with here at Arkansas. Um, super um, supportive staff that'll help you just find your way and always have your back and we're, uh, we're really grateful to be here. Oh.